Hi again, everybody. So this sensory bag is a favourite of mine. Um, if you're lucky enough to have some laminating pouches at home, or if you're able to get out to get some from most shops, we'll have them with their stationary items. And a set of hair straighteners, which I'm not using during lockdown. So I will show you how to make a really lovely, easy sensory bag with a laminating pouch, some hair straighteners, sequins, and I'm actually using bubble bath for this one, but you can make them with anything you like, baby oil or water and food dye or paint, anything you like really that the children might like to play with. So at the back of the, the laminating pouch where there's already a seal, I tend to start there and about two or three centimetres or so run a strip along the end of it. Just turning it over to get an even seal. And then up the two long sides, I will do the same. This provides a nice tight seal around your bag. As they do, get pushed on and squashed quite a lot, but they are thoroughly enjoyable. Okay, this can be done with an iron as well, and obviously as an initially an adult activity but do encourage the children to make a choice of the objects they would like to put in. So for this one, any little gap, I'm going to open it up a little so there's a little bit of space. I'm going to pour some bubble bath into this one, just so that it's a nice sensory um, texture to be able to push against. Try to avoid getting anything on the top two or three centimetres of the bag. So give it a little shake and try and get it to the bottom. Then I've just got a little selection of sequins from the craft box or any craft store or most shops again. We'll have a selection of them there are the craft things. Sprinkle a few in. You could add a little bit of water in here to make the texture a bit thinner. And then gonna seal it down, push it down, try and get the air out. And then once I'm happy that most of the air is out and the gel can spread around, I'm going to make the seal over the top again. This seals everything in. And try to ensure you've got a tight, smooth seal across the top. You may want to go over a couple of times just to make sure any air bubbles that have been caught seal up. And here we have a really lovely sensory bag. I do tend to position them on a nice contrasting background. And again, with my trusty gaffer tape, again you can use any tape that will attach it. across either to support the seals if the children push on them a bit too much or to attach it to your contrast background and again very lovely activity and sensory cause and effect activity in our classroom I can tell you there's not a single grown-up who comes in that doesn't stop to play with these bags. They're very therapeutic and lovely activity and really nice for children to play with. Hope you enjoy them.